Welcome to NCDOT Now. I'm Steve Abbott filling in for Mike Charbonneau. Traveling around the Triangle just got a little bit easier thanks to a partnership between NCDOT, Triangle Transit, the City of Raleigh, and the City of Durham. Earlier this week, NCDOT Secretary Tony Tata, along with Durham Mayor Bill Bell and Raleigh Mayor Pro Tem John Odom, unveiled Go Raleigh, Go Durham, and Go Triangle. It's the new look of public transit serving the Triangle and all part of a new family of services called Go Transit. Previously three separate transit systems, Capital Area Transit had been rebranded to Go Raleigh, Data to Go Durham, and Triangle Transit to Go Triangle. This allows each system to maintain its uniqueness while better connecting and unifying the region as a whole. We want to encourage people that with Go Raleigh, Go Durham, Go Cary, Go Chapel Hill, Go everywhere, uh, we want to take all those cars off the road and get get people uh, on, on transit, on buses, uh, carpooling, etc. In addition to these changes, Cary Transit will be changed to Go Cary in 2016 and T-Links will be changed to Go Links. To learn more, visit www.gotriangle.org. NCDOT maintenance crews in the triad engaged in friendly competition while sharpening their skills at the annual division rodeo held on March 25th. Workers who operate heavy equipment in Orange, Alamance, Caswell, Rockingham, and Guilford counties gathered in Hall River for the first division rodeo of the season. Participants got to test their safety awareness and skill levels while maneuvering a dump truck, tractor, backhoe, low boy trailer, or motor grader through obstacle courses that model real-life scenarios that maintenance crews encounter each day on the job. The overall goals of the rodeo include helping NCDOT workers advance their skills, emphasizing the importance of safety when operating heavy equipment, fostering a sense of team spirit, and recognizing employees who excel at their job. I like to come out and see the, the folks that are participating in the rodeo and uh, it gives me an opportunity to be with employees that I don't get to be with on a normal basis. All 14 NCDOT highway divisions hold rodeos annually with the winners from each division going on to compete against each other in the statewide rodeo in Raleigh on July 21st at the NC State Fairgrounds. Division rodeos will take place now through the end of June. Last week, NCDOT representatives joined staff from the Department of Cultural Resources for a ribbon cutting, officially opening three new tour stops constructed at the Bentonville Battlefield in Johnston County. NCDOT constructed the tour stops at locations along the battlefield, giving visitors a place to safely pull off the road and learn more about the history of what took place 150 years ago. The battlefield, located in southern Johnston County, celebrated the 150th anniversary of the Civil War battle with a reenactment the day following the ribbon cutting. And on a final note, NCDOT lost a member of our family earlier this week in Division 4. William Gray Bailey was working in a work zone at the US-70 Goldsboro Bypass Project when he was struck and killed by a driver. Our thoughts and prayers continue to go out to the Bailey family during this difficult time. That's all for this edition. Stay connected with us on Facebook and Twitter at NCDOT. From all of us at NCDOT, safe travels.